business folk has a high stance. His base is so wide, it's really hard to get in and out. Oh, right hand hands up! Oh, a huge right hand from the monster! And then he chases him down! Fulton is laid out, struggling to get to his feet. The monster on the attack, trying to play two more bets as Fulton tried to grab the ropes, backed up into the corner. Here comes in away. There's been a lot of hype about Naoya Inoue, the dynamic power puncher from Japan for years. But it's not just hype, it's the plain, hard, unvarnished truth. Inoue is the real deal. We have been given the privilege to watch one of the all-time greats, one of the best of the best of the best to ever do it. A guy with a rare combination of speed, skill, smarts, and power. As Naoya Inoue continues his extraordinary journey in the world of boxing, his legacy grows with each remarkable performance. His power, speed, and technique have elevated him to a level few can reach in the sport of boxing. With an impressive collection of championship belts and a recent triumph over Stephen Fulton, Inoue's legacy as one of the boxing world's most feared and revered fighters is cemented. Aged just 19 when he turned professional, Inoue was immediately tipped as a world champion in the making and seemed blessed with all the qualities any fighter could wish to possess. From his debut, it was clear that he had solid fundamentals, great power, incredible speed, a brilliant boxing brain, and an almost innate ability to pick the right shot at the right time. All those qualities are incredibly rare, and to see them all in one fighter is almost unheard of, especially one as inexperienced and young as Inoue was when he first showed those traits. Inoue turned professional in 2012 and has not looked back since then. He won the WBC light flyweight title in April 2014 after dominating a match against Adrian Hernandez to secure an 11th round win. In search of a bigger challenge, in his eighth professional bout, he jumped straight to super flyweight and took on the Argentinian veteran Omar Andres Navarez, the then reigning WBO super flyweight champion. Navarez had only been beaten once in 46 bouts, a decision loss to Nonito Donaire, but Inoue brushed him aside as if he were a journeyman, dropping him four times en route to a second round KO. It was a demolition job on a tough, experienced, and cagey fighter. In May 2019, he scored an electrifying knockout victory over Emmanuel Rodriguez to win the IBF bantamweight title. In the process, he also captured the WBA Super Bantamweight title. Shortly after, Inoue participated in the Bantamweight edition of the World Boxing Super Series. He reached the final, 
where he faced Nonito Donaire in arguably the toughest fight of his career. The two traded punches in the first half of the fight. In the second round, a left hook from Donaire caused a serious cut above Inoue's right eye, which affected his vision, but he fought back hard. And in the fifth round, had Donaire in trouble, who was saved by the bell. However, Donaire retained his composure and began to hurt Inoue more in the second half of the fight, particularly in the ninth round, where he landed a tremendous right hand and left Inoue's face bloodied. remembers the strength he had back down at 118 pounds and just felt he wanted one last... During the 11th round, Inoue downed Donaire with a left hook to the liver, but he made it to his feet at a count of nine and kept fighting until the final bell. One minute, 35, has he made the count? He's up, and the referee says box on. Digs that right hand into the body. Remarkable, remarkable. The fight was a thrilling back-and-forth battle, with Inoue emerging victorious by unanimous decision, thus unifying the WBA, IBF, and Ring Magazine bantamweight titles. The fight was widely considered one of the best of the year. After this, he made a couple of title defenses, winning three via knockout. At this point, Inoue voiced his desire to become the undisputed champion, and one of the men standing in his way was one he had already defeated in the Boxing Super Series. So a rematch was a chance for him to fulfill his dreams, while on the other hand, Donaire sought revenge and wanted Inoue's titles. The rematch proved to be nothing like their first meeting in 2019. Inoue, the 29-year-old three-division champion, absorbed Donaire's power well into the opening round before landing a right cross of his own that dropped the Filipino legend. <laughs> Fighting with no shortage of confidence, fresh off a trio of knockout wins since their first meeting, Inoue continued his dominant power punching in the second round. He wobbled the 39-year-old Donaire with a left hook and continued to hurt him with right hands until a second left hook left Donaire looking like he was ready to go. One more left hook dropped Donaire a second time and referee Michael Griffin instantly waved the fight off. Fighters don't get better than Inoue. He can box, he can cut off the ring, he is faster and quicker than anyone he faces, and he hits like a guy several divisions higher. He is masterful at the way he controls the distance, and he showed exactly this when he became the first undisputed bantamweight champion in 50 years, when he took the WBO title off Britain's Paul Butler with a commanding performance in Tokyo. Butler was given a lesson by the 29-year-old from Japan who dominated throughout until he ended the contest with a right hand to the body, followed by a solid left hook and a barrage of unanswered punches that floored Butler. It was Inoue's 21st career knockout and it guaranteed a slice of history, with no bantamweight having held all of the titles in the four-belt era. On 18th January 2023, it was revealed that Inoue had entered into negotiations with the unified super bantamweight world champion Stephen Fulton. The bout took place at the Ariake Arena in Tokyo, Japan. Fulton entered the bout as one of the top 10 fighters in the world, an unbeaten world champion who had the advantage of size going into the fight. Inoue, though, made him look ordinary. Inoue showed an extraordinary jab, vicious bodywork, exceptional speed, and all-time power. 
he dropped Fulton along the ropes for the first time in the eighth with a vicious, blistering straight right and then a left hook. Fulton somehow got up and stumbled into a corner, but Inoue is one of the game's finest finishers. He wasted little time putting away Fulton. This made him only the second ever Japanese fighter to win major titles in four weight classes following Kazuto Ioka. Inoue continues to dominate in the world of boxing and does not look to stop anytime soon. Inoue has now set his sights on Marlon Tapales, the unified WBA and IBF champ who confronted him moments after being crowned the new unified super bantamweight world champion. Inoue didn't waste time accepting. Fighting Tapales would give him the opportunity of following up his disputed bantamweight world championship from last year with undisputed super bantamweight glory this year. And if he wins that fight, he will be the only boxer to perform back-to-back -back undisputed feats after Clarissa Shields.